If you just got a new flip video camera, you need to make sure that you run the flip video software on your machine. Otherwise, the um, you won't be able to get the videos off of it to upload into Movie Maker. So what you need to make sure you do is plug in your camera. And you must be an administrator on your machine for this to work. If you're not, it won't let you run it. Now you can have an administrator of the machine run the software and it will um, go ahead and then show up in your uh, user account, but you do have to be an admin in the machine to run it. The screen that you'll get will look like this and you want to click on the flip uh, diamond and run the software. I've already done that on my machine so it doesn't look quite the same as what yours might but if you click on the diamond, run the software, be agreeable, yes, 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 next, 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 um, and run the software, then you can uh, pull the videos and use the FlipShare program. The camera on the left is the older flip model, which uh, came out probably before this summer, uh, 2009. The one on the right probably started coming out this summer, maybe fall, um, and it looks a little bit different. It runs pretty much the same, it just has a little different look to it. Uh, the older one has a slide on-off, whereas the newer one has a button on-off. and. Um, the newer ones, I believe, only come in 120 minutes, whereas the older ones you could get as 30 or 60 minutes. Uh, but they run pretty much the same. When you're editing in Microsoft Movie Maker, you have to save your Flip Ultra um, videos a little different way than you had to with the older Flip Ultra model. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing you want to do is you're going to plug in your camera. And you're going to wait for the screen to come up. Okay, from here, And just wait a moment. Okay, you have your flip share <coughs> um, screen that comes up. The old way that <coughs> I've recommended for people to download video before is to open up the folder to view files, but with the new cameras, the files are <coughs> MP4s which will not load into Movie Maker, so you have to use the FlipShare software. So you have to go into the software on your desktop or however you get to it. So I'm going to open that up, the FlipShare software, and then I'm going to click on the video that I want to save. So I'm going to save this video right here, so I'm going to click on it and it's going to outline in dark blue and then I'm going to come down here where it says online share I'm going to click on that and then I have three choices I want to check other websites next check other next and then I'm going to change the name to be we'll just say practice and that's going to save on my desktop, new folder on your desktop. So it's going to save in a folder called practice. And then I'm going to click go. Now you might not think anything's happening, but if I look down here, it says FlipShare is working. Do not unplug the camcorder. And I can see that the video saving is progressing here. Now what it's doing is it's saving as a WMV file and it's going to then be able to be uploaded into Movie Maker. If you do not save it that way, you cannot upload into Movie Maker. This is the way that um, 
flip video customer service recommended for it to be saved and it works great. Okay, now you can see there's a folder on the desktop that's called practice. I'm going to open that up and here's the video and I'm going to go ahead and show you it's now a WMV file instead of an MP4 file um, which is what uploads into Movie Maker. So now I'm going to go over to Movie Maker, start all programs and find Movie Maker. Okay, then I'm going to wait just a moment and I'm going to import video and then I'm going to find that video which is on my desktop it's called practice um, the program just labeled it video 17 you could rename it from there but I'm going to go ahead and click on it okay. now I have my um, video and it's in lots of small clips um, but this is all the same video so when you want to start editing it you need to highlight all the clips so that's what I'm going to do here and then you'd want to drag them to your timeline And now they're all in the timeline so you can start your editing.